Well, new developments in an open seat in Congress following the recent passing of Representative Donald McEachin. We now know when voters will decide who will fill his seat. Our Jake Burns is here with the very latest developments on a story that is uh, evolving around the clock. Oh, it absolutely is. We do know one thing for sure, though, right now. Governor Glenn Youngkin announced that the special election for this seat will be held on February 21st of next year. So voters in the 4th District, go ahead and mark your calendars. But now the focus turning to who will get the party nomination, particularly Democrats, and the names are beginning to stack up. Just a little boy running around this neighborhood. Lamont Bagby grew up in what used to be called Essex Village. It's where he announced his candidacy for Congress on Monday. I hope that this run not only shows individuals that a young boy from Essex Village can make it, but also a young boy from Essex Village can lead. The Henrico delegate and chair of the Legislative Black Caucus, officially in the race to fill the seat left empty with the death of Congressman Donald McEachin, who passed away from complications from colon cancer last month. Bagby promising to continue his legacy and expand it. I'm running to make sure that uh, we continue to do the work on education, uh, focus on voting rights, focus on running predators. We, we ran predatory lenders out of Virginia. Now it's time to run them out of America. In a district that McEachin won easily on November 8th, eyes turned to the Democratic primary. State Senator Jennifer McClellan from Richmond expected to announce on Tuesday she too will seek the Democrats' nomination. McClellan is well known around Richmond and helped raise her statewide profile when pursuing the governor's office last year. Similarly, State Senator Joe Morrissey announcing a press conference Tuesday morning on his plans in this race. Two Republicans have announced plans to run. Pastor Leon Benjamin lost to McEachin last month by 30 percentage points. Former Mecklenburg County School Board Chair Dale Sturdivant also plans to seek the GOP nomination. Both parties will have to hold their nomination processes this month ahead of the special election set for February 21st of next year. Both parties have to finalize their nominees very soon. Early voting for the special election will begin in early January. Both Democrats and Republicans finalizing those plans in the coming days, we're told. Working through the studio, Jake Burns, CBS 6. Tracy, back to you.